So one's already on it. Two's already on it. Very good job. Boys, don't don't jump into the fire. Alright, we are here today to answer the age-old question of What would happen if the Birdman was a firefighter and your life was in his hands? Dispatch to Unit 1. The fire has spread to the roof of the house as well as an adjoining room. Backdraft potential in the area. Oof, backdraft potential. That was a hell of a movie, that backdraft. Even went to the exhibit as a kid at Universal Studios. I wonder if that's still around. I haven't been there in a long time. Alright, we're driving to our first job here. Just trying to get all the nervous, idle chit chat out of the way. What do you say here? How do you. I was gonna try to talk to my brother here driving this vehicle, but apparently I can't look at him. I'm not allowed to. This is as far as I can turn. Okay, well, I guess I'll just stare out the window and just take in the lovely day. Seeing as the smoke pollutes our environment even further. That's exactly what we need. Oh, I hear him. He's next to me speaking. I'm just not allowed to actually stare at him. Hopefully we get to do a little bit of fire assessment over here. It's quite a bit of a scorcher. Ooh, I better be allowed to climb that big giant ladder right there, too. Someone's trapped in the bedroom. Get that person out Look at this here. Let's see, when I was growing up, I jumped on trampoline without no safety nets. You break a leg, well, you break a leg. Walk it off, Junior. Okay, what was that? Somebody's life is in danger, Zane? Uh, sure, I guess speed would be of the essence. How my brother's doing here today? Good crouch. So salvaging that vehicle anymore, huh? Two hours later. <laughs> Alright, let's go step inside here and see what's up. So you're working at the Zor? This is where the person would be at? Oh, you got a flashlight? Yeah, hold up. Do I have a flashlight? Oh, yes, I do. Alright. Nice screen. What do you say here? 55? Why hand it to me? Why don't you just use it yourself? Is, is the person in here? You were waiting for me to actually enter here to break this door down and save this man's life? You know what? No, no. Don't walk away from me. You take the Halligan tool. Break the door, the man's life is in danger. Alright, fine, sir. Commander, whatever you might be. This guy's a terrible commander. This is not really the time to be teaching me a lesson to break doors down. Alright, who's in here? It's this guy. You big baby. What happened to you? It looks fairly safe in here. There's no smoke or anything. You could have just jumped out this window. Oh, wait, you could have. Hey, I think you have to carry me. <laughs> it broke my leg or something. See, this is a bad idea with these bars, huh? I mean, there's a fire out there, you can't jump out because you have bars there. Maybe you should reconsider that idea next time, huh? He's unconscious, he just talked to me, though. <laughs> he told me his leg's broken. Allegedly. I heard this loud noise. I fell, and then I woke up on the floor. After that, there was smoke everywhere. This smells of insurance scam to me. I'm sure that's gonna hold up. Good argument there, buddy. Ah, here he is. He's a big baby. Oh, he broke his leg. Give him a lollipop after you're done checking him out, huh? Alright, let's go over here and fight this fire. See what we can salvage at this man's house to some degree. I guess I'll start working over here. How you doing, Domingo? I'm gonna call this guy Domingo. Feels like a Domingo to me. He's Domingo. We have Johnson over there. I think I saw Reyes over there. Yeah, Reyes, Reyes and Scott are apparently working on this tree for some reason. Guys, can we focus on the house and not the tree? If we could salvage the house, I think the man will be somewhat happy. I mean, salvage some of it. For the most part, it seems pretty irreparable at this point, but... I think he'll feel better if we tell him that we save at least some of the items within his house and not the tree outside of his place. It's like, sir, you lost everything, bud. We saved the tree. Oh, <sighs> thank God I can really start to recover now. Teamwork makes the dream work. Now, don't worry too much about the vehicle. The vehicle is indeed a lost cause. Spray on the back, my friend. Who are you? Are you Scott or Domingo or Reyes? I already forgot which one you were. I think you were Johnson. Johnson, forget about the vehicle. The garage itself is really the important part because this is what's spreading. At least the car is just over here in the center, kind of self-contained by itself. How safe is it for me to be, um... Right below beams that are supporting the roof that are crackling and on fire. Alright boys, I think it's almost time for us to start celebrating here. Job well done, debriefing, yeah! All right, let's uh, see if oh, I want to just... Oh, I was still moving. You did your briefing? I mean, the, the roof is still on fire. Okay. Well, I guess we're working by the hour here, boys. <laughs> it's time to clock out. The next shift will take care of uh, that roof fire that's still left over. Before responding to your next emergency, you should sharpen your skills. You... you <laughs> what, you didn't see my rousing performance in that last um, first mission right there? No, no, I'm not going to go to no training facility. 
I'm ready for the real thing, just like I was over there. Maybe you should have trained before you sent me to my first fire, huh? You're about to start a mission which requires specific training. It is recommended to complete the following training scenarios first. Squad commands, extinguishing fires, establishing hoses. Nah, that's fine. Okay, so, oh god, we gotta drive there? I guess I should have probably known that. The problem is, I would say, there's more lives at risk when Birdman takes the, the, the wheel behind a giant fire truck than there probably is inside of burning houses, but, um, alright. I guess as long as we follow the lead car, we should be fine. Yeah, dispatch one, I don't need to hear about it right now. Yo, what are you doing, dog? Oh, you want me- <laughs> You want me to- See, he even actually hit that vehicle. You saw there was this momentary little bump here. Never mind. I'm gonna go through the incoming traffic, because I feel that's probably my safest route. You don't want me cutting between cars, man. Alright, come on, boys, please, for real. I didn't touch you. I didn't touch you. You better not start thinking about lawsuits. I know you. This is America, after all. Is that the fire? No. Because we're turning over here. Oop, oop. Oh, another nice little turn. Look at that. We already caught up. Well, what do you know? Suddenly, the tortoise, who took his sweet time, is about to take the lead, rabbit. <laughs> I know we're not racing one another, but still. All right. Oh, 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 another one just through. Wait, did you guys just teleport here? Well, that's no fair if you could teleport. We've got electrical fires being relit by sparks. Find a hmm. fuse box and cut the power. That sounds bad. Doing a 360 check. The front door is locked. On a 360 check, there are fires in the front room. Mm -hmm. So we'll probably have to turn off a fuse box of some kind, right? There's a locked door at the fires room. in the living room. I found a survivor. The attack line is ready to go, boss. Seems like the survivor's in the back because he said that as he was running through the back, so... Front door and back okay, door locked. Fires up front. Okay. You have the attack line very good. Who's my number two? Number two is right there in front of me. So check this out. Number two? Who does number two work for? That's right, buddy. You show that turd who's boss. Start setting up a line. Okay? And where's my number three at? Number three? I need you to go and grab us a pry tool. Yes, sir. As a matter of fact, I'm going to come along with you because if I could find an axe and start breaking down some windows to let that smoke come out. Fire. Oh, here we go. <laughs> All right, boys. So here's what I need you to do. Number three, see about popping that door open. Okay, let's see if we can start cracking some of these windows open myself. Okay. So we know the fire is in the living room right there for the most part. Oh, there's a survivor right there too. Perfect. So you know what? Number three, um, save the save the dude. I'll handle the breaching. Leave the tool, though. I mean, no, don't leave it inside. You know what we should have done? What are you doing, dude? No, him. <laughs> I need you to save him. Put the tool down. Is he taking the tool? He's taking the tool. Well, fortunately for him, he did breach the front. So it's been turned off, too. So I guess now we can't start spraying. So one's already on it. Two's already on it. Very good job. All right, I like the AI. The Takes a little bit of initiative. The victim is safe. Yo, number three, if the victim is safe, I'm going to start popping windows, if anything. Yes, sir. Let's have number three establish a third line. And I'll probably grab it off of him after we're done. So let me look around just to make sure everything is fine here. Say, so apparently I'm starting to drop frames suddenly. What the hell do we have here? Oh, hazards? Why does this man have volatile explosives in his house? Don't let the fire touch that? Yeah, no kidding. Alright, we have a garage here. Let's flip this open. Just in case it goes a problem. Yo, what are you doing following me, dog? Get over there and uh, fight the fire. And I could open that, sure, but there's just more pleasure in actually breaking is what I'm thinking. And number three is coming up at the third line. Boys, don't, don't jump into the fire. You look at this guy. He's super heavy metal. He's just hanging out in the fire. <laughs> I mean, that's not my command. That was on him. Oh, sure. I'm going to just walk in there. Let me see what's in here. We have the kitchen. Number three, uh, you're following me, aren't you? Yeah, you, you would be. Yo, look, dog. I'm looking around. I need you to follow your cohorts over there and help them fight the fire, okay? Now, this technically leads into the... Leads into this living room, right? Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Uh, we have a little bit of backdraft action here. Close that up. Okay. You know what would be nice? If somebody, um, stood right there where that came at, and just, um, 
clear it up from that site. Let me grab somebody's. I'm gonna take this away from you, okay? I have a feeling that I might be a little better than the AI. Probably not by much, but just a teeny tiny bit. And ideally speaking, I guess I could have him establish another line. What do you think, number three? Do you want to go and establish one for yourself? You're free to. I technically had him do this for me because I knew I was going to use it eventually. Yeah, he's off to do that one. Perfect. All right, boys. We just about got this under control. Thankfully, this fire didn't spread into the kitchen after almost caused that backdraft right there. So that should be it. Ha <laughs> ha! Good job. All right. Not too bad for my first mission over here in charge. We broke enough windows, I would say. We kept this from exploding on us, which is always a good thing as well. All right. We have apparently unlocked Wildfire Park, Explosive Hot Dogs, and Rosenbauer Walk and Rescue. And uh, really broke five windows, huh? Could have probably broken a few more, but hey, it is what it is. Well, we have to try Explosive Hot Dogs, do we not? All right, so this is uh, apparently a one-man operation. We do have a much more different vehicle for this one as well. We don't have our typical setup here. And of course, we're in the middle of um, traffic jam hour in downtown. This has the recipe for disaster. We're in all over it. And of course, this hot dog stand had to be like miles and miles away. Okay, we're not too far off now. Is there a way for me to just drive across this park right here? Alright, there is the explosive hot dog. Can't believe they called me out for this one, huh? Good, that'll have to kind of do. Oh, there's a person dead there. I mean, did that happen after the explosive hot dog or before, you know? Maybe the guy is selling bad dogs, you don't know? Alright, so search and rescue. Alright, somebody please rescue that individual right there, alright? Now, I mean, do we even need a fire? I mean, this is like, wouldn't this like be grease because of the, you know what, just grab? What am I controlling number two? Yeah. Go and grab a fire extinguisher. I really don't think we need to set up lines for this one. I mean, it seems a little bit excessive if you ask me. Let me take a look around here. What the hell is this? Fire location border. Don't let it spread beyond that. I'm with you, boss. Lead the way. Yes, commander. Have we rescued? Yeah, objective has been completed. I'm on it. Number one, if you can grab one of those yourself. All right, boys, come on. Don't just stare at me. Go handle that. That was it. <laughs> Just a simple fire extinguisher. <laughs> oh boy, that was good. Well, a, a little bit disappointing. I, I thought there would be explosions, maybe the, the hot dog stand would fly into the air or something as we approached. Okay, I think we have enough time for one more. So we're doing Burning News, and I chose this because uh, it's Burning News. I imagine we'll probably see J. Jonah Jameson yelling at us from the top of the building on fire. And number two, it's a nighttime mission too, so we get to see how this all looks at nighttime. So let's go ahead and just skip the terrible driving on my part. I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> all right, we're about here at the Burning News location. Where's the building at? A newspaper stand? <laughs> oh, come on, this is another troll like the hot dog stand. That's what they're calling me out for, uh, a newspaper stand. The nerve of you guys. Oh, you have to do a 360 check. Oh, let me guess. The newspaper stand is on fire. Look at this guy over there looking around. Mm, better make sure the entire area is... Get out of there. Skip your check. Can't believe these numbskulls. Who's got the attack line? Number one? Where's number one? Here, give me this. I don't think we even need a second one, but just in case, grab one here. G give me that. Hey, you. Let me get that, you numbskull. Don't run through the fire through the newspaper stand. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nobody needs rescue. It's just quenching the fire stand. I was hoping we'd see J. Jordan Jameson with his big-ass stogie yelling at me and cursing Spider-Man for this fire. No. Lead the way. I don't know. Maybe just do what I'm doing, huh? Put the fire out on the newspaper stand. Is that it at this point? 
You see what I'm doing? You want you want to follow suit? Like you point your your hose at the fire, water comes out and it goes off. Try it. Go and try it. Right there. You see that? <laughs> there it is. It's been debriefed. <laughs> it's been completed. What do we have in there? That's very sturdy. Um, hacking on that soda. Looks radioactive green for a particular reason. It could withstand hot ass fires. What a what a set of missions. A <laughs> hot dog stand. And the freaking newspaper stand. It's comical at this point. Mediums? Oh, come on. I did these two really quickly. Oh, that's a good one. Unstable rooftop. Oh, we can even probably use the ladder for that one. Oh, man. It's a shame we're out of time, though. I'm going to wrap it up here for this one, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This has been Firefighting Simulator The Squad. Surprisingly really fun. Really, really fun. Um, all the info down below in case you want to pick it up for yourselves. You want to see some more, you know what to do. Catch you next time.